back to my channel how you guys doing thank you guys for tuning in um so today is gonna be a quick one um, i'm gonna be doing a wig review um i've been on my show here now for a couple of weeks and i love it don't plan on going back or maybe soon but you know i don't like looking the same every time so i decided to get a hair and i'm gonna be showing you guys the hair this is the hair the lace wig um 100 virgin human hair yeah, I don't think you guys can see that. Um, it's 100% veggie human hair, unprocessed hair, 100% um, human hair. Um, it actually feels really, really good. Like I literally can put my hands through it. That's one of the things that I look for when I get hair. Um, this hair was not really that expensive. Um, it's really within budget. I got it for $109. I actually got it in store. Um, I didn't get it online, so it's gonna be hard for me to. I'm gonna try and look for it so I can put it in the description bar below just in case you guys want to try it out yourself. But it's, as you can see, it looks really natural and really, really nice. Um, let me see if there's any shedding, just a little, so not a lot of shedding. Um, I love the curls, it's bouncy, bouncy curls. I'm gonna try this hair right now for you guys to see how it is. I already cut the lace. Lace. You have this right here. One right here as well. And one at the bottom as well. And you have the straps on both sides as well. So what I usually do for my hair, what I use for my hair, I use the mousse. Um, if it's not a sweet hair, if it's a curly hair like this, it kind of helps with the curls. It makes it a little bit more and it makes it look a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't comb your hair or for example, like curly hair, you don't brush curly hair, right? If it's not a straight hair, you don't brush curly hair. So the thing that you're going to use for the curly hair is the mousse. That's what I'm going to Okay, this is the mousse that I use. Um, I got it for, was $4 in store. Okay. I kind of do this before I put the wig on. It kind of it helps, to be honest. It's more convenient for me to do this. But you know, if you're the kind of person that wants to wear the wig first before you do it, you can definitely do it. There's no way, like there's no right way to style your hair or to take care of your hair. I know if you want to put the wig on and apply the mousse, you can definitely do that. If you want to apply the mousse while holding the wig, like I'm doing, you can definitely do that. There's no right way to do it. So I'm gonna do it right now. Something. So it comes like that. Put it through the hair like that. Brings out the curls of the hair and it makes the hair shine. So, see right here. Next, you can see the curls are a little bit more it's better. It looks way better than it looked before. This is definitely, this is one thing I look for in like hair, human hair. When I get human hair, one thing I look for when getting human hair is my ability to put my hands through it, like so. If I can put my hands through it, then I know that is a real deal. But you know, most times, even synthetic hair so if you can still definitely put your hands through it it doesn't mean anything but you just know you just know when you have the real deal and this right here is a real deal so i'm going to be trying this out in just a second so this is it right here i already the the lace out wow i didn't wear any cap under it because i don't like wig cap so you can still see my because you see my blonde spot over there but you guys look this is a really nice unit i love it i love it and it's not that expensive it's i'm pretty sure online is going to be cheaper but i got this here for 109 110 dollars in store on one of the beauty stores close to my house and it wasn't it wasn't that bad i literally tried it once at the store and i was like i'm getting this hair there's no way i'm gonna get in this hair and as you guys can see you can see the curls with the mousse the mousse kind of help the curls come out a little bit um, it helps it, you know, makes it shine a little bit more. Um, don't mind my blonde spots. I'm not wearing any wig cap under that. Just wanted to show you guys how this hair looks. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So I got this hair in the color brown 
and the natural color um so when i went to, let me tell this guys story when i went to the beauty store i was kind of indecisive um i tried two different um type of wigs and the books were amazing on my head i loved them and i was like you know what i think i should get both of them and they were all like they were both over 200 dollars and I was like, I can't decide on which one to get because usually when I go in store to get hair, I get hair and then I come back home and then I hate it, right? So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to get one and then regret it. Let me just get both of them. If I get both of them, you know what I'm saying? So um, this is a natural color. I have the brown, the same wig in brown. And it's pretty much the same thing. But to be honest with you, I kind of prefer the natural color because it's natural. It kind of looks natural. It looks very natural and that is why i dig it and i'm digging it all right you guys this is the hair uh, i'm gonna try and look for the hair online so i can post it down so in case you guys want to you know you guys want to check it out you guys want to get it this is very cheap um i'm pretty sure it's gonna be cheaper online it's probably gonna be somewhere around 80 to 90 dollars online but in store it was 100 and, um, 110 um so it came in this case this box um I don't know i cut i cut the little tag on the hair so i'm guessing i cut the name of the hair so but it came in this case right here this white case that says lace week 100 percent virgin human hair i'm gonna try and look for it online so i can post it down in the description bar below if you guys cannot find it i will make sure that i do that for you guys but this is the hair you guys and i like it i like it it feels good it feels really light it's not really heavy on my head um and I can't feel any tangling or anything, and it's not a lot of shedding. Like you know, that's that's the thing. those are the things that you look for when you want to get hair. The 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 lightness, the shedding. Can your hands go through it? You know what I'm saying? Can your hands go through it? So my hands can definitely go through it, and I love this unit. I love it, you guys. That is it for today's video. I just wanted to show you guys this hair. I just got it. And it was very inexpensive. You guys can definitely get it if you want. It's definitely within budget. You don't have to go overboard to get your natural hair wig. This is something below $100 online, I'm pretty sure. But in-store is definitely not too much. It's definitely above $120. I got it for $110, so you can definitely get it for that in-store. But online, I'm pretty sure it's going to be cheaper online. So this is the hair, and I am loving the hair. When I'm done with my blonde hair, I'm going to be rocking this wig. Okay, okay. Okay. Alright guys, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Now what? Let me just flow my hair a little bit. You see? See how it flows? It flows. Alright guys, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I am happy you guys are here and please don't, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Thumbs this video up. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will see you next video. Bye.